All right. I uh, have a tat here that I have picked up on uh, Facebook Marketplace. Now, this video, I want to show you the exact common problem with these industrials and why this problem happens over time with industrial fans like this. Now, I have it taken apart where uh, the canopies aren't in place because that's part of the demonstration. I'm just going to do a straight power to it, just straight line, full power to show you initially when I got it and why the guy was getting rid of it. Okay. And I'm going to go on by path. So this has a failing capacitor in there. I've lifted the lower canopy to show that, show the capacitor. And this should be drawing at least twice of what it's drawing right now. When he uh, told me that this would make a great uh, fan for the winter, like for heat reclamation, this would be the speed you'd want to run it at, at most. But uh, I wanted to show that this is I've seen this problem as a kid in industrials, why they weren't going as fast as they should. I've never realized why, but now I know, and I want to show more than collectors, fan collectors, many know exactly why this is. But uh, as you can see, this is its max speed right now. So instead of doing spin down, I'm going to do another full video of this after I change the capacitor. So, you see that it was drawing 0.46. So, now I'm going to change the capacitor on this, so I'll be back in a second with the stuff to change it out, and I am going to show you all right, I am back, and uh, right here is the capacitor, right in there. If you want to see, right there. Let's see, make sure I aim. And I'm going to come around here. I'm going to snip the uh, bundle here. So, I'm gonna put the wire nuts here. So I got wire nuts. Strip those. Take that bundle away. I am going to get my wire strippers. I got a strip. One. Two. And three. Ah, this one did not. Okay. What I'll do, I'll get my screwdriver. And, and I'm gonna remove, I gotta go to the other side. Okay, I got part of the capacitor removed. 
so the wires that are stripped I'm gonna already put in the new capacitor this Need a bigger wire knot to Alright. This one isn't gripping at all. Alright, we'll try this one. Okay, and then I gotta, I'm gonna snip this one. So this is also an eight, and I'm replacing it with a matching eight microfarad. So I gotta strip this wire. Okay, and then I'm going to take the screw. Well, I'm just gonna leave it and let it rest on there, so deal with it later. But at least the new capacitor is in. So now, and now, one thing I'm gonna do quickly, 
I already know the new capacitor is going to be an 8, but I'm going to get my meter out. And I'm going to test the old one particularly to see how bad it's downdrifted. All right, here is my capacitor meter. Well, light it up. Okay, hook that on. To, okay, this should be an eight microfarad capacitor if it would focus. Yep, eight microfarads. And this is what it's reading. So it drastically drifted downward. So now to power the fan back up again. Going to lower the canopies. And uh, put this other one up all the way since it's already connected up here. So now, so I'll be back. We're ready to test. All right. We are ready to power it back up, and I'm gonna do another straight high test on it to see the difference. Oh, I gotta plug it in, and here it goes. Probably needs to be balanced a little. And these steel on steel do still take a little bit of time to get up to speed, but it's, I can tell it's definitely going a lot faster than. Still speeding up. I can hear it speeding up. Oh yeah, drastic difference right here. I mean, it's going still pretty fast. I mean, gotta remember steel blades. These are big steel blades too. These are like old gold line type, but steel. So they're rather heavy. This is a stamp steel motor. So it both takes a long time to get up to speed. And to even spin down, I know spin down if the bearings are good, which I'll do in my next test video when I do my whole test rig on it, I will show you. But in the meantime, I just wanted to show you the drastic difference of changing out a capacitor. So uh, I'll see you next time. I will be back with a full test of this fan. I'll put a link in the description of the next video that I'm gonna do. All right, so I'll see you then.